Today on Live, Thrive, Build, we head north to help out our friends on their really old farmhouse. All these walls. Then I go and fix a few more things around the house. When I need to make fine cut, I use Japanese fine saw. And finally, I install the rest of our wood stove. a great time working with some awesome families uh it's funny on the last video i was saying i made the joke like we're gonna go work up north on a farmhouse and then the next day we actually did <laughs> i wasn't even thinking about that um but it was a good time lots of awesome men there uh with lots of great skills chipping in and uh uh, it was good. We were just there for about three hours. Prepping all these, prepping all these walls. Getting them ready for some more time and groove. We're getting all the nails out. I was over here doing some of the, cutting that out cleanly. Um, there was a lot of people there pretty much all day, so. <laughs> you got it right there. You guys found some historical documents over here. Some old newspaper clippings. Yeah. It's pretty cool. 48, I'm great. 1948. So, 48, I'm great. The name of the newspaper is like some association of whatever. Oh, yeah, we're upside down. It's 1937. Again. This could be where the second Honus Wagner card is. <laughs> I know. That would be amazing. <laughs> two of two. <laughs> First, males are going in. We just got to help out a little bit, but it was such a good time seeing all the children run around and play, and the moms hanging out and getting good food going, and um, and then the men doing a lot of the construction. So it was it was good. It was fun. Back home to our neck of the woods. So Erilyn and I have a um, daughter mommy painting time going on right now, a little date. We are getting our second coat of primer in on our new bedroom. Like I mentioned, there are three bedrooms upstairs and our main uh, master bedroom that's huge is downstairs, but we would much rather be in the tiny bedroom in between the kids, be closer to them so we can hear them better. Um, and Layfall actually thought of this too. One of the other perks of it is that we would only have to heat this side of the house. There's two separate units. So we could just shut the, uh, the living room one off for the night. If we're not downstairs, we can just heat this side of the house. So we're excited to get in here. Good job, honey. She picked this to paint in. She couldn't find her normal painting clothes, but she decided she could paint white in a nightgown because it's white, so. <laughs> Great job. When I need to make fine cut, I use Japanese fine saw. Woo! It works so well. So hot, babe. Good morning. Today, I'm meeting with a gentleman who's gonna check out the van. And uh, I don't have the title in my hand yet. It's in the mail, so uh, 
waiting on that, but he's gonna at least come check it out. I'm gonna hopefully get started on uh, the either the chimney insulation now that I have the new uh, chimney boot, or I'm gonna work on um, cutting down a tree for firewood when we have the chimney ready. Like so strong. <laughs> Good job, man. You sit next to me. So grateful for a beautiful sunny day. It's warmer today. Levi's gone through a couple of nights of feeling like he can't breathe. I think it was just irritation from the cold or something, but it's so good to be outside again. Roared on the and you went swinging so on the swing? Out. Yeah, we did. Nice. So Mom pushed us so high. And then so I, I heard you guys giggling. Over I heard you giggling a lot. I hurt myself. I hurt myself. It turns red. The lights goes not here, not here. It goes up here. This minivan's amazing. You can fit a whole dresser in. Just the back area. Today, Lord willing, I will be installing our chimney pipe. The backside of the roof is still a little bit wet from there being some condensation warming up fast, which is awesome. So it should be drying out. So, I had to put Gorilla Tape on my roof. I was installing a chimney pipe and then I realized I had the wrong size chimney boot. So, let's talk about how this fared through all of the storms. The Gorilla Tape did exceptionally well. We only lost four rafters, half of our ceiling. No, it totally worked. I must say, I'm really impressed. So since I'm on a pitched roof, it's not gonna be a perfect circle that I'll be cutting. It'll be a little bit of an ellipse. So I'm just gonna kinda hold the pipe up here, level, and then just kinda eyeball the rough ellipse that I wanna make. <laughs> now I'm gonna want about a two inch gap from the outside of this diameter uh, pipe. This is a six inch triple wall pipe, which is 10 inches in diameter. So I'm gonna bring it out two inches all the way around that initial tracing that I did. So I knew I was gonna run into this. I got plywood over here, which is easy to cut through. Then I have a 
old school two by six on the plywood. And that's much tougher to cut through. Oh. remember before I started cutting in at all today I uh, put one of my large flannel shirts over the ceiling box to catch the initial debris time coming and a lot of learning and a lot of failures so I will take that insulation shield collar thing and uh, take that off I'll put that on later after I get the pipes installed get in your hole get in your hole pipe Kind of hard to video. Anyone want to be my full-time cameraman? That'd be great. Now, I got this screwed in. To me, it feels quite a bit wobbly. All right, so I got my first three foot section in. It is secure. I think a little bit of play is pretty normal. Um, and then once I have my other section on and the chimney boot on, the chimney boot should help secure it. I'm sure there's some people who want to also build out a little box and put a collar on it to really secure it under here. But I'm not dealing with a ton of pipe, so there's not going to be a ton of weight uh, for the wind to catch it and move it around too much, hopefully. So I think I'm just going to install it as is. Later on, I can add a collar if I really need to. Because that ceiling box was a little dented, it's kind of wanting the pipes to sway a little bit off balance. But my hole is actually cut where I need it. I just need the pipes to remain there instead of sagging because of the ceiling box uh, issue. What I just thought up uh, uh, an idea was I'm going to screw a couple pieces of metal that just kind of come out and support maybe in four points to keep the pipe right here that way there's not too much stress on the chimney boot and also I've been testing the level on uh, each side and it's all kind of showing me that I indeed need the pipes to be there <laughs> I'm going to be cutting the boot. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be too small, but I wanted to go ahead and just double check. Make sure I don't cut too far. So I went one ring above where I thought I needed to be. And it looks like sure enough, I do need to cut one more ring. As ever want to go back and watch the installation of the lower portion of this, you can go back a few videos from this one. Okay, here's one thing I want to mention. This type of silicone is good for the silicone boot sealing. And then after I get this applied or, or fully installed, then I'm going to use this furnace cement, which is capable of holding very, very high heat. And that's what I'm going to do around 
the pipe and the silicone boot and also around the uh, storm collar. I'm gonna use the high, high heat around those seams because they'll actually be touching the triple wall pipe. Todd to the friggin' dog. Now I'm gonna clean up this outer line and then re uh, caulk it. Now I'm gonna get the storm collar on. So I think I finally figured out how this works. I'm gonna snip off the excess that I don't need. Now I have less excess to get in my way. Something I love about being around here. So many visitors. So many people just popping in saying hey. Exchanging goods, doing co-op orders together. The kids get to play and uh, I'm working on some projects while the kids are running around. Check it out. Big moment. Got the audience down there. Yes. Well, I'm pretty excited. Got that done. On to the next thing. Okay, bye.